おはようみなさん。Nintendo E3 is coming very soon next month and definitely we will be receiving new information about Pokemon Sword and Shield. Just like many Pokemon fans, I feel with so many games released throughout this entire franchise, this next game actually has the potential to become the best and greatest Pokemon game ever. So in this video, I want to talk about how Game Freak should bring back some of the old features that's been loved by gamers into the new Sword and Shield game, and as well as adding new features to make this game even more unique and showing that they're able to evolve the gameplay into a higher standard. The first feature I feel that they definitely need to return back is Pokemon abilities. Every Pokemon has their own unique design, stats, and also abilities. And with abilities, it increases the competitiveness in each battle, and as well, it makes every trainer think deeper about the types of moves and strategy that they will use. And so, in the last game, people were very disappointed in that they completely removed the feature in Pokemon Let's Go, but now they will definitely bring it back and increase the competitiveness and also the uniqueness. Of each battle. What's important besides battling with your Pokemon is also showing the love between you two and how well you two can interact with each other. And to my point, it's having a variety of in game and post game activities that you could do with different Pokemon. s And that could be also having, like, you know what, festival mini games, entering contests with them,、uh, Pokemon grooming competitions, and also just, you know what, having like festival races. And celebrations such as, you know, in c a l s region we saw Rhyhorn Race. You know what? Besides battling, there are lots of other things we could do with Pokemon. And that's what the next game should offer to us as well. To increase the competitiveness and motivation in each battle, we don't need to see any more of overpowered starters, just like Eevee and Pikachu and their overpowered moves. Get rid of that. Instead, what we need to see is higher level. Pokemon from each computer trainer, and also they having the ability to switch Pokemon and counter ours. Because you know what? We have the ability to do that, so why not they? Computers are actually just as smart as humans now, and when we battle computers that are just as you know, smart are on the same level as us, it gives us greater motivation to defeat them. And that's what we need to see in the next game. We've seen a lot in the Pokemon anime dodge movements. And that means a lot of Pokemon can dodge moves, no matter how strong it could be. So I think for a new battle feature in this game, it could be in, you know, just adding this dodge element to it. And that's the trainers having the ability to control their Pokemon's movements, moving like left, right, up, and down. And also, their attacks, like specifically aiming for a certain direction. We see in the anime Ice Beam not hitting the target 100% of the time. But we see that happening in the games where Ice Beam has 100% accuracy. It can never miss. It doesn't work like that. So, we can try something new like this where trainers can control Pokemon movements. It's more interactive in an open environment. And that's something. Very cool, I find. It's different from tr traditional gameplay, but we're in a new generation now. It's time to try something new. Commenter on YouTube suggested that there should be wild Pokemon interactive experiences with each trainer, where each Pokemon will act just like their personalities. Shy Pokemon will try their best to avoid encountering us from being caught. They will like to hide behind rocks, trees, caves. Whereas aggressive Pokemon just like Tauros, a g r o n or Zubat, they would like to ambush us. It would be nice to have groups of wild Pokemon, daytime and nighttime, attack us during our travels. So imagine us camping out in the woods and being attacked by other animals, bugs, and ghost Pokemon. Because those do happen, and it would be nice to see it as well. Personally, I love it if Game Freak can have an online feature where they host a League Championship tournament. 
just like in the anime where the best 64 participants compete in the Sinnoh League, the Cowles League. And with the trailer, we saw a huge stadium and a uniform. Whatever it may be, it is like the perfect setting for a league championship match. And you saw the crowds, you saw the excitement. It's something that I thought of as a kid just becoming league champion one day. And Game Freak, you have the ability to make it come true. And I wish you can have a feature like that where we bring together the best, the strongest Pokemon community in competing for this ultimate tournament. Let's make this the best Pokemon game ever. <laughs>